Hi everyone, Bernard here. Welcome to the latest Citizen vlog, and it's a little city quiz on yes, our wonderful hero. And we we pray he will come back to us one day, isn't it? Obviously, we went to that testimonial back in September. Seems a long time ago now, doesn't it? Back in September, the start of this court sh court cut short, not court short, <laughs> cut short season. But obviously, happy memories. So I thought I'd do a little. Little quiz based. I just had a lot through there and just had a little simple quiz. Now, if you know Vincent Company, you'll uh, score really well in this quiz. You'll do, probably do better than me anyway. I've, I didn't score very well when I've looked back at what, what points I would have scored anyway. Please, if you're new to this channel, push your subscribe on. That'd be absolutely fantastic. Please tell your friends. Uh, I'm trying to get the subscribers up as much as I can. And so if you've got any friends who are City fans, and please tell them about these little vlogs. I mean, I try and do anything from 10 minute vlogs to. We have 40, 45 minute vlogs, but city pass, city present, city quizzes, city everything. So please tell your friends about it. Push that subscribe that notification button as well. So you know when these little videos are coming out, these vlogs are coming out. Please thumbs up. Oh, it's pretty it's lovely to see thumbs ups. I mean, it's nice to get lots of views and stuff. And you know, sometimes I go back to an old vlog I've done and I think, oh, that's a lot of views. And I hadn't noticed, I hadn't realized that the views had gone so high, but um, it's always great to get thumbs ups as well, isn't it? So please do that. Right. Vincent Company quiz. You can do this. I'll, I'll leave a little bit of time to cut for you to come up with the answer, or just pause the vlog. It's just for fun. Don't go googling anything. There's no point. It's, you know, just uh, just for a bit of fun. Fifteen questions, eighteen points up for grabs. So a couple of questions are uh, uh, got a couple of points. Right, shall we start? Right, the charity game. Obviously, we all remember this charity game, and the. Uh, you might have seen you might have seen it actually on the image I've just shown you. Don't rewind, um, but you probably know this anyway. Which charity did DK support? Did Vincent support? So what what was charity benefit benefited from Vincent Company's testimonial season or year, whichever whatever they call it now? So which charity did the money go to? You know, I mean, uh, I'm sure you probably knew that without looking back at the picture anyway. There's a gentleman sat with Vinny here as well in this uh, this image. That uh, obviously I don't. Uh, that gentleman is obviously part of the um, of the uh, charity thing, and obviously a, a well-known figure in Manchester. What is the gentleman's name? Both names. Well, you don't get a point unless you know both his names. So who's that? Right, I'm going to show you a, a typical Vincent company celebration now it wasn't very um what's the word um express not well he was expressive wasn't he wasn't but obviously he didn't do dancing robots or anything like this but i'll show you an image of him um one of his celebrations anyway and can you can you sort of remember which goal this was after so i want the uh yeah, I mean, um, it's only one point up for grabs. So, who was it against, and what year? So, if you don't get, if you only get half, if you don't, if you get who it was against, we we'll get the year wrong. You only get half a point. So, anyway, so that's the celebration, very famous celebration. So, what what goal was that? I was he just scored a few goals for us, didn't he? So, what goal was that? I was celebrating. Who against, and what year was it? Obviously, the game. The game was, uh, of course, the uh, Manchester City Legends versus Premier League All Stars. But who was the manager of the Premier League All Stars? That's question four. Who was who managed the Premier League All Stars? You know, quite easy these aren't they? If, if you know, well, if you know, if you went to the game. So I think we got nineteen points up for grabs. I just sort of one one I've messed up there. So. We've got 19 points up for grabs tonight, today. So I did even worse than I thought with my score. Next question. Question five. How old is Vincent? And I'm doing this as at the, what date is it? It's the 12th of April, 2020. So how old is Vincent at the 12th of April? I'll, I'll, I'll explain that in a minute because... Uh, Obviously, but you have to be spot on with that. I don't want, I'm not giving you half a point of view a year out. How old is Vincent Company? All right, next question. How many major trophies? I'm talking major trophies, so we can discount friendlies and charity shields, etc. Uh, did Vincent lift with City in his career?
Next one. Which other major club or clubs, sorry, which other two major clubs, there's two points for this question, has Vincent Company played for? So which other two major football teams has Vincent Company played for? I only remembered one of these. Question seven for two points. Question two. I got this. This is this answers from Wikipedia. Thank you, Wikipedia. So I've not had a chance to to see if it is correct or not, but um, I'm assuming it is correct as at April 2020. How many full national caps has Vincent Company got for Belgium? Not under 21s or anything like that. How many full international caps has he got for Belgium? How many goals has he scored for Belgium, Vincent Company? And please, I've got, I've got this fax from Wikipedia, so uh, I wouldn't have known this uh, without checking that. So sometimes I try and double check, but I've not been able to double check that through any other source. So I'm going off there. So hopefully it's right. Question nine, and another one that I was a bit surprised by, but again, I've not been able to see anything different. Um, Vincent won the City Player of the Year only once, Player of the Season only once. What year, the, you know, the Manchester City Player of the Season? What year did he win it? Only won it once. I would have thought it would have, perhaps because he's blighted by injuries, perhaps he only did win it once. But again, please bear with me. I've done that and uh, I think that's, I've not seen anything to say different. Well, so put it this way, if he's won more than one, I want to know the first year he won it. But uh, <laughs> So, either way. It'd be the same answer. Right, we've got another celebration to think about here. So obviously we want to know when and where this celebration is. What game was it? So again, the clues, if you look at the picture, just look at the background of the picture. Um, it will help, although obviously there may be a couple of options even with that. So obviously what celebration there? Where was it and for what game? A little bit tricky that one. Could be you say it could be an either or. And there's a great little image here of City playing a it's not a competitive game, but it's because I, I first saw the picture and it wasn't until I looked twice that uh, I realised that um, obviously, obviously what was going on. I thought I thought um, I was a bit confused at first, but I see the picture here with the uh, obviously Vincent going in for the header. City were playing obviously who? Obviously very familiar kits there. Who was City playing? Manchester City playing in that picture. It's a great image. You know, I you know he's leaving everyone up there for heights, isn't he, Vincent Company? So who who were they playing in that picture? Even though the kits are very very familiar, weren't they? And the next question is an easy one. Two parts, so two points up for grabs. Which manager signed Vincent Company? And approximation. So I mean, I've I've got two figures here between such and such. Such. How much? How much did uh, Vincent Company cost City? So how much did he sign for? So if you within half a million, I'll give you a, give you half a point for that. But obviously, who signed it? Who? Which manager? What transfer uh, value? What transfer fee does City pay? Approximate again. It's approximate. It may vary, but the one I've got here is the one answer I'm looking for. Which and the next one? Which game featured the "Don't Shoot" incident? Vinny, don't shoot. Very famous T-shirt as well, wasn't there? So which game featured the don't shoot moment? So the game, what score was it? I won't, actually, I won't need the date. If you got the date as well, you don't get anything extra. But uh, obviously, which game was it? Who did we play against? I'm not even asking if we won because we obviously we know we won, don't we? But we know the score from, from the, what it is. Uh, question 14. Which was Vincent's final competitive game for City? So which was his last competitive game for City? We certainly didn't know he was retiring when he played this game, or we didn't. Obviously, the players knew before we did. 
So which was his final competitive game? Quite easy. I don't understand why I've only got measly points on this. I've, I sort of know him now, but there you go. I've, I've done the questions. And finally, another celebration just to finish us off. Just to say is uh, quite difficult because obviously it's hard to remember um, the way he does these things. But it's another celebration, so I need to know who this celebration was against. And if you get the program, it's classed as his uh, best celebration. So even though the, perhaps the game wasn't as big as some of the others. So again, it's the it's the, the bottom picture there. Celebrating, pun, you know, punching in the air and punch, hitting his chest, etc. This one here. Uh, so what was that against? What celebration was that for? Who was it against? What's your last question? So just the team. I'm just looking for the team it was against. Don't have to tell me the year. Perhaps not as high profile a game as some of the others that um, Vinny's been involved in. Right. Answers. Did you enjoy that? That was okay. Well, I'll tell you now, I got I got 11 points out of 19, which is pretty pathetic, really. So I'm sure I'm sure most of you will do better than that. So obviously the, um, the programme I've shown you before, obviously we've got tackle for question one. Obviously the charity, obviously is tackle for Manchester, isn't it? Is, is the charity, of course, and he does it. The uh, current Manchester Lord Mayor, obviously. Uh, question two, Andy Burnham. So you got Andy, if you still said Burnham, you're not getting anything. You want Andy Burn Burnham to get your full point. Which goal was he celebrating on this one? Well, this is this is probably the most iconic early of his goals, wasn't it? Obviously, it was. Uh, yeah, it was the goal against Manchester United back in 2012 which sort of more or less was convincing us all that the league was ours wasn't it I mean we still have I think three games to go but it just seemed it was there we could touch it we could feel it couldn't we even though we didn't although we didn't know it was going to turn into um, as close as it did in the end obviously in 2012 so yeah if you said United 2012 give yourself a point for that one uh, who managed the Premier League All Stars? Well, of course, it was one of our adversaries, wasn't it? Martinez, Roberto Martinez, who obviously with, with Wigan actually took a trophy off us, didn't he? But he, uh, he was the manager for the Premier League All Stars team on the night of this finished testimonial. Uh, how old is Vincent Company? Well, yeah, he's just celebrated a birthday actually, he was born on the 10th of April 1986, so he's now 34. So obviously, as I'm recording this, he's had his birthday. He's now 34 years of age. So give yourself a point. Uh, how many major trophies? Well, we'll have a little image here of the trophies. So the trophies is one, but I'm obviously I'm not interested in stuff like that. I'm interested in the major ones. So obviously, the Premier League 2011-12, 2013-14, 2017-18. 2018-19, so that's four Premier Leagues, FA Cups, obviously 2-10-11 and 2-18-19, uh, Football League Cups, EFL Cup if you like, 2013-14, 2015-16, 2017-18, 2018-19 and 2019-20 of course, so I mean we added another one to that, so there's five of those isn't it, so in total how many trophies I was after? 11, it's not a bad, bad haul is it, what, about 11 major trophies? I'll take that. That's fantastic. Uh, which other two major clubs did he play for? Of course, I, I, I forgot Hamburg, obviously, but uh, it was Anderlecht and Hamburg. I would have forgot Hamburg, to be honest with you. I may, I may have realised after about an hour of thinking with my slow brain, but uh, yeah, the other two major teams he played for were Anderlecht and Hamburg. Uh, and the full caps, I mean, as I said, this is based on Wikipedia. He's actually got 89 full caps for Belgium and he's got four goals. So... If you said 80, between 87 and 91 caps, give yourself half a point. If you said four goals, give yourself a point. But if you said three or five, yeah, give yourself half a point. If you said three or five, I'll be generous. Uh, what year did Vincent Company win the Premier League? Well, I got 2011 down. I thought, you know, as I said, if you if won it since then, please, my apologies, Vincent. But that's, that's the only season I've got down as him winning the 2011 player of the City player of the season. So I may be wrong on that, yeah, but please forgive me. But anyway, either way. Which year did he first win his Player of the Year season award? 2011. So there you go. Same answer anyway. So question 10. 
when and where was this celebration so obviously it was it was the background wasn't it it was obviously going to give it away but this um obviously at, Wem at uh, Wembley he has he has managed to get on the score sheet a couple of times so if you look at the well, it's the 2019 Carabao Cup final, 2019. So if you said that, give yourself a point. But again, no great, no great robot dance or messing with a flagpole or anything. Just, just sheer joy and accelerate, excel, acceleration, exhilaration. Yeah, probably acceleration as well. I mean, I, I remember that um, defending it. Was it against Arsenal where he, he he sort of put on his his burners and zoom there to defend something from the Arsenal striker at the time, a pacey one. And I just thought, where, where's he got that pace from? But there you go. It's amazing, isn't it? So that yeah, that was Wembley 2019, and of course the teams obviously looking both played in Man City kits, aren't they? Or what they look like? But obviously, uh, it's Melbourne City, isn't it? In Australia, so obviously it was Melbourne City I was looking for for the which city were they playing? Obviously with the the wonderful John Player twenty cigarette kit that we we sort of had, didn't we? I mean that's a, that's a it's a great kit that, but it did remind me of cigarettes. Obviously when when we saw that. Um, which which manager signed Vincent Company? Of course, it was Mark Hughes, wasn't it? I mean, better days with, with Matt, not one of my favourite managers, not one of probably many City fans and the favourite managers, to be honest with you, as, as a person. Um, and he, he cost between seven and eight million. So if you said anywhere between six and a half and eight and a half million, give yourself a point. It cost between the estimated between seven and to eight million, obviously, depending on who you read or what you read. And of course, which game? Featured the don't shoot Vinny moment, of course. There's a celebration in there doing it. The don't shoot Vinny, obviously, it's the one nil game against Leicester on the 6th of May 2019, so less than a year ago. But again, it seems, seems a long, long time ago. And of course, which was Vincent Company's final competitive game for City? Well, of course, it was the FA Cup final. The final competitive game was the FA Cup final against Watford, a, a 6 nil victory, obviously. So that was his final. Game where he was on the team sheet, team sheet, and he played competitively for City. And the end celebration, yeah, I mean this 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 one here. It's, if you if you sort of spotted it, it's obviously St Mary's Southampton, and the background of it. Um, after missing much of the 2016-17 season, it was frustrating time for Vinny. The title was heading to Chelsea, but there was still work to be done. So when he returned a month from the end of the season away to Southampton. It was a relief for everyone, and when he rose to head home, David Silver's corner on 55 minutes. That relief was there for everyone to see. Vinny set off to celebrate with the City fans behind the goal, and the emotion poured out of him. It was quite a moment. So, yeah, I mean, we were to see similar celebrations at St Mary's, weren't we, two or three seasons later, obviously, with the Centurions. So, but that's, uh, yeah, even though we had more higher-profile celebrations, or less to the Uniteds, etc., that... that uh, Sticks down as one of his, his most memorable. And just to finish, that was the back cover, wasn't it? Here's to you, Vincent Company. That's all we can say, isn't it? I'm not going to sing the song. But, uh, yeah, great. Fantastic. How, how well did you do? Say nine, There was 19 points up for grabs. So I got a pretty paltry 11 for considering it's our captain we're talking about. I should, I should do better, shouldn't I? But uh, not that I don't know these things. I probably forget them. That's the problem at my age. So please accept my 11 pitiful score and let me know what you get in the comments below anyway, please. Anyway, check out all my little quizzes and citizen vlogs. Just check out below all links to various things. And uh, obviously there's quite a lot out there of quizzes wise. So if, you, if you're in the mood for a quiz and get a few mates, I mean, a few people have actually commented that they've had friends around or they skype with friends now we don't have friends around anymore do we we've said this uh i'm obviously recording this with, with the covid virus going on um they've skyped things obviously they've skyped this little quiz in the background and the, the mates have tried to answer the question which is great it was really nice to hear things like that and uh, great if you can do that yourself anyway thanks for watching this please what are you going to do with the rest of your day have a great one look after yourselves look after your friends look after your family and at this time, let's all look after each other. Until the next time, this is Bernard saying goodbye for now. Bye-bye.